So here's the... So here's the deal. Nobody came to help. I hit that button three more times. Nada. So, San Jose hasn't always been a great place to bike. Five to six years ago, I almost got in a bike accident. And I think, you know, unfortunately it's just one of those things where it's not an if it'll happen, it's a definitely a when. However, when that happened, I wasn't wearing a helmet. And that's my fault. And so, and I've had friends who have had accidents and uh, who have worn helmets and that has totally saved their brain. Today, my goal is to hopefully find a helmet. Now my problem is this. This often isn't a problem anywhere else. It's great look. It's what, I, after I hit my 30s, I was like, I'm gonna let my hair grow out. It's gonna be awesome. However, does it fit under a helmet? I mean, without looking silly or looking like Slash in a top hat. So I've got a couple of options. One, I'll get a helmet large enough that it is still safe on my head and will still, you know, make the, the, the locks show. Or whenever I bike, I should wear a buff. Now, a bu here's an example of a buff. Uh, so this was given to me as part of a costume for a show I did called Merchant of Venice. And I played Gabo, the, uh, the clown, the servant character. Now this is great. Now I can just like put a helmet over this and it'll be totally fine, but I don't know if I always want to be wearing one of these, you know what I mean? Sometimes you just gotta let the hair go. Well, my problem is that I gotta find the right helmet. Like any hat, like any headwear, it's gotta call out to me, you know what I mean? Do you guys remember that scene from the movie Chaplin? where he's sort of exaggerated how the hat came to him and, and Robert Downey Jr., a very young Robert Downey Jr., just sort of like glances over and sees this hat and the hat sees him and it like magically comes into his hand and on his head and it's beautiful, I love that moment. And that's how I feel whenever I'm looking for hats because before this grew out, I wore a lot of hats and I love hats. So, uh, that being said, let's go. Also, for the sake of this episode, I'm actually not taking any main streets. I'm going down some suburban neighborhoods here in San Jose. Cool shop, lots of open air, lots of room. As you can see, it's uh, it's pretty well stocked. Also, look at this, Kuchiku. Well, and, and this hair. This was the problem. Was that? Uh, yeah. I've got all this hair. Yeah, rub that in my face. Thanks. <laughs> Sorry. It. Good job, um, so one of the things my mind usually goes to is uh, is this brand does a really great job. And kind of like the rounder shape here yeah. and can go larger. This is bumpers. Bumpers? Yeah. Hey. Oh, that's okay if you're shy. Oh, yeah. You're so cute. You're so cute. Oh. Nice to meet you. Get some nice one All right, so we're here, we're hanging out. Uh, he's checking something online real quick to see if there's any availability for a certain kind of helmet. Uh, certainly one that's a little wider that'll address the fact that I've got a lot of hair on the top of my head. Also, I just have a much wider 
frame, <laughs> you know, for all that brain. <laughs> so we'll see, fingers crossed. Maybe we'll leave something uh, with something today. Maybe we won't, but at least we've had a chance to like check out the, uh, the local bike shop. Give it a shot. Find that helmet. On the hunt. It's here somewhere. I know it is. Is it in here? <laughs> right now, I just need something temporary to protect my noggin while I wait for something better, or while I save up for something better. Um, because I suspect that we may be riding around town more frequently now that it's like summer is sort of winding down and I gotta, I gotta trim that down. You know, that trip to Japan and the Philippines totally did me in, so. I don't know guys, today, something else. The simple task of trying to find a helmet that calls out to you has been proven to be my Goliath. And I must rise like the mighty David. Don't worry about it. If you don't know what I'm re referencing, it's just a story. A story of triumph. What's this? Who are you? Oh, oh, oh. Are you okay? You're okay. This one calls out to me. Just trying to get the simple act of putting a snap on is a vlog on itself. Ugh. We got one. We got one, guys. We found one. Michaels! All right, let's go. So it's been about, I don't know, like, two, three minutes since I pressed the button for assistance. I may have to like pop a tent over here and, and start camping. Luckily there's there's some chairs. I love this place, but you gotta be real careful. Otherwise you end up spending way more than you intended to. So today we're, we're going minimal. We're just getting some well, you, you'll see. I'm hungry. So, in case you guys are, are just tuning in, this is Juan Carlos. This is the proprietor of uh, Empire 7 Studios down in Japantown. And uh, you guys will probably see it here at some point. A big reason why there's a shit ton of amazing murals happening, popping around in San Jose. And uh, well, you guys were doing the story. I couldn't get my paint over at uh, Michael's. Probably a good thing because- well, I'll uh, give you a couple cans. There you go. <laughs> you came to the right place. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realize that. Just you told me I got plenty of paint for you. That's so funny. Cause I was like, I, I really want to spray paint my helmet. Yeah, Let's make it mine, right? I'm sure Nietzsche's will kick you down a can. That's so funny. This is the last place I thought I would end up today. Yeah. 
Yo, shout out to Juan Carlos, inviting me today, hang out for a little bit, to see him around, and uh, there it is. Thank you guys. Peace. All right, man. Peace out. <laughs> Dude, it stuck. Like, it sucks around the We need a stick or something. Oh, okay. What did we learn today? One, uh, customer service is gonna vary, of course. Two, don't try to fly your drone when it's windy and there's trees nearby because you are inviting this, all of this. All right, let's get to work. It's been so long since I last painted that my acrylics have dried. <laughs> hey! What do you think? Honest, be honest. So my card was full as I was uh, getting the paint on here. So of course, it, uh, this camera is an older one and doesn't tell me. The important thing for me today was to get out and go do something. And a big, 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 big reason I'm making more vlogs is because I want to squelch all those excuses that I've given myself in the past few years about why I'm not making more content on YouTube or platforms in which I can utilize video. That's it. That's it. That is it. Ah. Note to self, work on vocal. What? How do you, how does a four year old expect it to do this? <laughs>